So now I'm talking with uh, Thomas Schutz, from, and Thomas did a, a really interesting presentation yesterday at Eclipse Conference about, uh, about an Eclipse project called eTrice. So Thomas, can you can tell, me, tell me what is eTrice? Yeah, eTrice is uh, all about the implementation of a model-driven toolset for embedded systems. Okay. Um, it's based on the modeling language Room, which means real-time object-oriented modeling and comes from the telecom uh, community. It's been developed in the, in the 90s, early 90s. And uh, it's uh, focused on the development of event-driven, big event-driven concurrent real-time systems, embedded systems. And we use it for a variety of, of domains. And, and so what, what are some of the domains that, that you? Well, for my company, we have mostly uh, um, companies or customers in the sector of uh, automation and automotive. Okay. But uh, we also use it in telecom systems like software-defined radios or um, also for, yeah, for non-embedded systems. If they are big, event-driven, concurrent, then, uh, then uh, yeah, in a lot of cases you can use eTrice for for the complex uh, concurrent uh, real-time stuff. Right. So, so yesterday you, you did a, a really nice demo. Um, unfortunately, we're, we're not kind of doing demos uh, during <laughs> the interviews. But can you take me through, kind of just um, describe what, what eTrice looks like and how does a user interact with, with eTrice? E and what, 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 who is the user, typical user of eTrice? Yeah, the user of eTrice would be a, a typical developer of embedded software. OK. Um, the the good thing about, about uh, Eclipse, uh, as we use it as, as a base for our tooling, is that it provides a lot of uh, different modeling uh, tool sets to build your own tools upon. Right. And so we based on, on Xtext uh, um, for the textual language we provide, and we added some graphical editors for the things you really want to edit graphically, okay. like state machines and, and component models and things like that. So basically you describe uh, the structure of a system with components right. called actors in, in eTrice or in Room. And uh, you decompose your components uh, with subcomponents to describe complex hierarchical systems. And then you define the interfaces using ports and protocols. So you have a formal uh, specification of also for the interfaces. And in the end, you can define the behavior by using uh, state machines, also a model of state machines. Right. Uh, or you also can implement the, the, the behavior manually or using other implementation technologies. If you can define an interface for them, then you can also use other things like uh, we have a MATLAB bridge uh, for MATLAB models we can integrate with our own models. And in the end, you generate the com uh, complete code for, for all the things you modeled and you bind your manual code uh, to it, and then you have uh, hopefully a good running system. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of code can you generate? Like what languages do you generate? Like yeah, we generate uh, C, C++, and Java okay. code, and we have a little runtime that goes with it uh, because you need the portability for portability issues and also for all the things you do not want to generate, like uh, all the basic services, like communication, right. timing, and, and all the things you do not want in to generate the code for. So we put it in a library. It's portable for C and C++, so it's easy to adapt it to, to new platforms. And in Java, of course, you do not have to port it, because if Java run, if there's right, a Java right. runtime, you, you won't need to port anything. Yeah, is memory size and the kind of size of the runtime important uh, for your customers? Or for definitely, definitely. But uh, it, it depends on the customer. So we have uh, uh, in the machine control sector, it's not so relevant because those are huge machines and it doesn't matter if you have a microcontroller or a really huge PC right. or something like that. Uh, but especially in the automotive domain, you have really hard constraints uh, regarding performance and memory footprint. So our C generator exactly addresses this. So we generate the things we can really into the ROM, which means you do not have to use the expensive RAM, okay. which is uh, the, the hardest constraint there. Um, with this, and so we make everything statically in, in, this, in the case of C. With C++ and, and Java, since we address bigger systems with that, uh, you can also do a lot of things dynamically up to dynamical actors we are about to implement uh, uh, for, for 
you know, for plugins or whatever right. during runtime. But you won't see that in C because uh, usually the customers uh, do not want that because they want a clearly defined safety critical system right. uh, without any plug-in mechanisms that's, uh, that scares a lot of people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so if, if someone wasn't <laughs> using eTrice, how would they be building these systems? What, can, what, what's, what's, what do you, can, if eTrice is the future for, for these, these types of um, system developments, what, 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 what are they doing today? Um, you, you mean the domain or uh, no, no. how they how would a, a system engineer build an application yes, yes. Um, today without like, doing the state machines and stuff yeah. yes Mo most in, in in lots of projects uh, they are just coding C or Java or C++ just by hand just by hand okay. and uh, some in, in some areas like the automotive sector um, they already use a lot of Yeah. Um, they um, they uh, they use model uh, tool modeling tools like MATLAB, right. but they are very specific about a certain functionality they want to provide. It's a critical functionality in a car, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Better than we? Yeah. Okay. So it's a critical functionality in the in the car, but uh, but a lot of things they st still hand code. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, we address a lot of those topics where they still uh, hand code their, their C code or the, the C++ or Java code. And uh, especially if it comes to uh, event-driven system, state machine-driven system, for example, protocol stack, uh, you cannot really implement with uh, uh, certain other right. tools. And that's where eTrice uh, okay. comes into play. Good. Okay. So this is an Eclipse project. Um, I forget how long has it been an Eclipse project? It's been an Eclipse project for over, th I think, for three years now. Okay. Okay. Uh, we founded it three years ago, and uh, actually at the Eclipse Con we made the first prototype. Yeah, we yeah. sat together in the evening, and two hours we made the first grammar for for the language. Good. So this was really really nice, yeah. and uh, then we decided immediately to make it open source because we started from from line zero right. with the tool. We threw away the predecessor tool completely and uh, only used our imagination and our experience to build a new tool. Okay. And it was mainly because, um, yeah, be be because our business model is is, is around uh, 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 services for for embedded systems, uh, engineering services. So tools vending is not something we want to do. So, but we need the tools to right. do our job. And uh, so it was clear from the beginning that we want to make it an open source project. And Eclipse is the perfect platform because we're using all, Ecli all of, all of right, the Eclipse right. stack there. And uh, it also gives us a great opportunity for sharing, uh, uh, sharing the, the project with others. And so, so that's what I was going to ask you. So how, if people wanted to participate in <coughs> eTrust, what, what type of collaborations or contributions would, would be useful? Um, basically, all kinds of contributions. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, quite some some people now that, that that work on the project. We are currently five committers from three companies. Uh, we have another six or seven contributors. Mm -hmm. Three, for example, uh, have been sponsored by Google last year. Google Google Summer of Code. This year, we have another Google Summer of Code student that helps us. And uh, the other companies basically uh, provide, or the other uh, contributors and, and committers uh, provide their special knowledge, like uh, one company does the C++ generator because they do C++ okay. systems. Right. So they said, okay, you don't have the C++ generator, so we make them. Right. And others, uh, for example, focus on the, on the uh, a documentation generator because they are very interested in, in this part or or they have the technology or the knowledge to to do it so, so doing different types of generators yes. is definitely an easy different way to, exactly yeah. exactly all the documentation generators or yeah. others for example just are interested in creating test cases yeah right. so that's also uh, a skill you need and yeah. not everybody wants to do test cases good good yeah. so when when's the next re release of eTrace uh, the next release will be in about a month uh, it's the 0 0.3 so we're still uh, in the incubation phase of the project right. and 
yeah, hopefully we will uh, we will get the uh, yeah mo more value out out to our customers and Good. to our community, uh, and we definitely would appreciate uh, feedback from from the community that's using right. e tries uh, requirements, bugs, and things like that. That's always what we're interested in because Great. it makes uh, our life easier to know what yeah, people want. So, have you enjoyed the Eclipse conference? Definitely, it's a it's a good good Eclipse con with a clear focus on on the things that are very important for us. So, embedded systems, modeling. Yeah. So that's the basic focus currently, uh, and that's definitely something we we've been looking for. Good, good. Well, thank you very much, and um, I enjoyed your presentation yesterday. Enjoyed meeting you. Thank, thank you. you.